So there was a question on the community about uh, advanced roadmaps. And this question has been asked by Don. And Don is asking about uh, when you configure the map, you set issue sources, you are given three choices, project, board and filter. So he has two questions mainly. The first question is, The first question is, do these three choices produce a different set of issues? And uh, the second question is, uh, are there any best practices for using advanced roadmaps? Now, let me try to answer. <clears throat> now, talking about the issue source, yes, there are three options. You can either use project, board, or a filter. In Jira, I think uh, if you're new to Jira, yeah, I think uh, it is very important to understand how it works. The so project is nothing but a container of issues. And in Jira, you can have multiple ish multiple projects. Uh, and each project uh, can have its own uh, team. The project can behave differently based on the configurations, based on the schemes. So I'll probably give you the same example that I give, that I usually give everyone, everyone if you're developing mobile app. You may have a project for Android. You may have a separate project for iOS. You may have a separate project for platform or maybe API. You may have a separate project, project for maybe your UI, UX team. And uh, of course, these different teams, these different projects are related to each other. They, they can uh, work together, but uh, not always. They, they have their own uh, set of goals, but they're of course aligned and they are supposed to, uh, they may have some independencies. Now, board is nothing but uh, another layer on top of these uh, projects. You can have maybe five projects, but in case you're talking about mobile app development, Android and iOS can be in or within same Scrum based board. And when you create a new board, you also have the option to either include one project, multiple projects, or it could be a filter. Now talking about filter, filter is nothing but a saved search in Jira. So when you save, uh, when you perform some search, you can actually save your query. And that saved query is nothing but a filter. And based on the criteria, your filter can uh, can uh, give you result that can be from multiple projects or multiple boards. Now talking about your first question, will these uh, three choices produce different set of issues? It can. It depends on uh, it depends on uh, the criteria of these uh, uh, th these these three objects. So your project board and filter can 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 give you same results for example let us say you have a project called android you can actually have one board for that project and you can also have a filter for that particular project uh, which is totally possible so it really depends on how these three objects are configured now talking about the best practices there are so many uh, things that uh, you can learn about advanced roadmaps i would say in the beginning go to this particular page so basically if you go to the advanced roadmaps for jira uh, you should, of course, uh, start with, uh, of course, the documentation. Documentation is important, but uh, as you are already doing, by the way, I think you can uh, make sure you have one instance with you where you can play. And in Jira, what I normally do, I always uh, create a couple of uh, sample Scrum projects to play with and try to create a plan, try to uh, see how how we can uh, use advanced roadmaps and when you are stuck somewhere you can of course uh, take a look at uh, the documentation the page that i was talking about is uh, this one discovering advanced roadmaps so if you start i mean i mean you can start the whole i mean you can start from the very beginning but uh, there are some pages that will actually help you in uh, getting started so you can you can take a look at this page discovering advanced roadmaps and and in case uh, you want to learn advanced roadmaps, I will again uh, point you to my course, my my set of videos that I have on YouTube. So in case you are struggling to learn how advanced roadmaps works, you can actually take a look at uh, mastering advanced roadmaps. And if you if you click on this particular uh, course link, you can find all the videos that uh, will help you hopefully. So you can learn about uh, the introduction. And of course, in this particular video, in this in this particular course, I have talked about both live and 
the, the new improved interface. You can, I mean, when you're watching this video, you can of course skip the life plan part because that is not really relevant anymore. Uh, but of course, uh, if you want to learn, I have actually talked about quite a lot about advanced roadmaps. Like, uh, you, I mean, the very first video is is going to give you introduction of uh, of advanced roadmaps. But uh, if you want to learn more, if you want to maybe spend some time getting, uh, if you want to maybe uh, learn how, how it works properly, then you can, of course, take a look at uh, different videos that I have in this particular course. So uh, that is, I thought I'll probably talk about because it has been a while since I talked about ad advanced roadmaps. I think it was, I mean, I mean, this, this particular uh, course, these videos, I started working on them last year, I think it was in February. And of course, I did uh, cover advanced roadmaps when especially when advanced roadmaps uh, were or I should say portfolio for Jira was renamed, rebranded as advanced roadmaps. And of course, in the new version of advanced road or basically after the rebranding. Re now, I think it was I think last month, I guess, when it when it Lushen announced that life plans will not be there anymore. So when you when you start using advanced road advanced roadmaps, you will only have improved interface. And it is actually very simple to use. And you can actually uh, get started very quickly as compared to the life plan. I mean, I have talked about life plan. In, if you go to my course list, I have a life plan versus advanced roadmap uh, video. So if you do a comparison, advanced roadmaps, or I should say the new improved interface is uh, much simpler to use. So I would, I would again say start using advanced roadmaps on a test environment, maybe with some sample test projects and uh, and play play with it. It is not really a difficult tool to use. It is actually quite useful and it can actually give you a lot of visibility on what is happening. You can not only make a plan, you can also track the progress and uh, the best thing I like about advanced roadmaps is that you can have different scenarios. So you can make a plan and when you make a plan, you have the option to uh, save that particular plan and create different scenarios. And when you have different scenarios, you can you can then do a comparison. Maybe you can show it to your stakeholders and based on the scenario that works for you, you can then apply those changes to the actual project. So you have basically a playground or a sandbox to to work on your plan, but you have the option to also save those scenarios and only commit when you have to. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.